Hello everyone. In today's session, we are going to see how bulk data uploaded in SAP system, focusing mainly on uh, bulk GL upload. Earlier, we used to uh, use LSMW, that is Legacy System Migration Workbench, but now uh, with S4HANA 1909, LTMC is introduced, that is Landscape Transformation Migration Cockpit. So we'll be uploading our data by using LTMC. Now in LTMC T code, the URL get opened while in ECC system, the traditional GUI used to get open for uh, LSMW transfer. Uh, let's directly go into our SAP screen. So this is my SAP Easy Access screen. My LSMW uh, still works on uh, uh, S4HANA, but uh, today we are more, uh, our main focus would be L LTMC data transfer. So I'll just uh, write LTMC and see a uh, URL will get open. Now here I need to just put my data, that is my user ID and password and log on. So the first step that I need to do is to create a project. Let's name my project 1812GL migration. And that's it, let's create. So now my project is created. Now there are so many migration objects available as you can see that if you want to um, upload activity type, bank accounts, bank account balances, then cash memo, characteristics, class, class hierarchy, condition contract. There are uh, 140 plus uh, um, migration objects available. Uh, let's focus on one of the object and you can try the other objects as well. So let's focus on GL account. I want to upload some GL accounts. So at one time you can also uh, upload other migration object by creating one project. So in order to facilitate the transfer of data, the migration object will be copied to migration project. We will say yes, okay. Now uh, my this screen is opened, uh, no file is uploaded. Now what we need to do is to download the template. So here we have an option called download template. So we'll download the required template. So I will just saving it. I will opening it in a folder. So my, this GL, uh, my this, so I will open it with Internet Explorer, okay? Open automatically. So when I open it and a template, an Excel template got generated. So now this Excel template have everything that we need or every prerequisite uh, data about every field list, everything is mentioned in this Excel. We just need to have a proper reading that what does it require, how we can fill the data and how uh, we can make our uh, Excel available. So we have field list, 
we have the description about uh, the migration object. Our migration object is GL account. We have general data. So we need to fill uh, this Excel and this Excel are normally shared with our clients and they fill it for us. So I do have a, a readily available file with me. Let me just open it and show it to you. So this is my file. So this is my file. Uh, so I've maintained the general data where it was asking the chart of account. So I have maintained my chart of account, then GL account number, then GL account type. So from where I took my GL account, let us just go back and see FS00. And I wanted to make few indirect expense account. So the number range that was available is after 12. So in my Excel also, I took it from 13 to 17. Then uh, there are a few parameters, all the details about the fields and the parameter, parameters are given in the box. You can read it and you just need to fill the data. We have already uh, gone through uh, how master data is created. So, uh, so we just need to fill the details and save it. Uh, the general data, then we have company code data. Then we have account names and then account keywords. All the mandatory field with the star uh, has to be filled. And then By clicking on upload, we'll go to browse. And this is my file. So I'll just upload it. So after it is being uploaded, what I need to do is to activate it first. So I'll activate and directly start transfer. Okay. So the validation is the first step that is done. Let's close it and we'll go to next step that is convert or conversion value. So we have one issue in mapping that is cost element category. Let's see what it is. So it's zero one only we'll save it. Confirm mapping values. and move ahead with simulate import. So I think it is done. Next is to execute import. And data import is in progress. Okay. And finish. So the migration status that is coming is finished. Uh, let's see, uh, are the accounts visible on my SAP server as well? So let's go directly 
to my SAP. Let's go out and come again. N. I'll again type the T code FS00 and go to indirect expenses. See, all my data from 13 to 17 got migrated. Uh, and this is how LTMC work. It is very easy and handy. So that's all for today. Thank you all for listening.